Hi everybody, this is Hannah from becomingwhoyouare.net. This is the second video in a mini series on the book The Power of Ted by David Emerald, where I'm sharing some of my biggest takeaways and some of the biggest ideas from this book. In the last video, we looked at the victim orientation, the three different roles of victim, persecutor, and rescuer, and we looked at why this orientation isn't particularly helpful or productive for our lives or our relationships. If you'd like a recap of this video, feel free to go back and watch the previous one again. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the alternative to the victim orientation, which is what David Emerald calls the creator orientation. In the victim orientation, we have these three key roles, victim, persecutor, and coach. We also have three roles in the creator orientation, but rather being based on fear, these are based on a sense of possibility and what David Emerald very poetically describes as a singing of the heart. So let's look at how this triangle changes when we're in the creator orientation rather than the victim orientation. The victim becomes the creator. Rather than feeling helpless and acted upon, the creator taps into their personal power to choose a response to life and circumstances. They approach life from a place that is vision focused and passion motivated and live life like a surfer riding the waves, moving towards each new challenge with enthusiasm. Something that's important to mention about this concept of power is that the creator doesn't wield power over others, but uses their power for co-creation and in service to others. Now let's move on to the persecutor. In the creator orientation, the persecutor becomes the challenger. The challenger's role is about calling forth the creator's will to create. They might encourage them to learn new skills, make difficult decisions, and do what's necessary to manifest a dream or desire. Like the persecutor, the challenger can be a person, event, or situation, and they can show up as constructive challenges or destructive challenges. Constructive challenges spark improvement and encourage us to grow. Destructive challenges teach us to face something difficult within ourselves and cause us to take apart our experiences. Finally, the rescuer becomes the coach. In the first video, you'll remember that the rescuer attempts to fix or solve things for the victim. The coach, on the other hand, sees people as creators of their own destiny. They facilitate personal progress and offer support, but they offer that support by standing by someone rather than saying, let me fix it for you, or let me fix you, which is the subtext of the rescuer. As you'll probably agree, living within the creator orientation is a much more appealing and exciting prospect than living within the victim orientation. So how do you shift from victim to creator? We're going to cover this more in the next video, but David Emerald suggests that we start by noticing the choices we make with regards to how we respond to people, situations, and events in life. Where do the habits of the victim orientation show up in our current life? And where are we currently in alignment with the creator orientation? How do we talk about ourselves and our lives? Do we talk about them as a victim or as a creator? This is just a starting point, but it can be a really illuminating exercise. In the next video, I'll share a few more ideas about how to make this shift. In the meantime, however, I'll leave you with two key ideas that David Emerald shares at various points throughout the book. The first idea is the fact that living in the creator orientation is a choice. And the second idea is that we often have a greater capacity for choice than we realize. So I hope you found this video interesting. Thank you for watching. As I said last time, if you want to check out the book, I highly, highly recommend doing so. You can learn about this framework in a lot more depth than I'm offering here. So please do go check out The Power of Ted by David Emerald. If you'd like to get in touch with me, ask any questions about this video or check out my other work, please feel free to visit becomingwhoyouare.net. Thanks and have a great day.